Hi. Now well, today I also want to cover a little bit on this uh, qigong meditation. Now, a lot of people have this issue of unbeing able to sleep, uh, have insomnia, have headache, and all that. And this is because your brain is too active. You know, it's chattering nonstop. So your monkey mind is always awake. That causes you stress. You know, the brain consumes twenty percent of your energy. So it's important how to learn how to de-stress and to let the brain rest. And one key way, of course, is through meditation. They say when the mind is clear, the whole universe surrender. Now, how the mind work? The mind is just like You know, a glass of water, and the water is muddy, just like a river water. So you cannot see through it. But when the mind is still, when it's clear, the sediment in this water settle down. Then you can see clearly. So this is an illustration of how the mind works. So if you have a tired day, this is essential that you take some moment. Maybe you start at five, ten minutes, build it up to ten, thirty minutes, and you will be able to see. Eventually, when you are able to practice consistently, you can manifest great power in you. You can see some of my videos how I can use the mind, for example, to project my thoughts, to affect the other people using the mind. Transferring it into an energy form. Now, we will come about that later. But today, I want to show you just how you should meditate. Find somewhere easy, relaxing. You know, it can be anywhere. You know, so I prefer like in the nature. You can hear some of this nature sound, the bird sound, or sometimes by the beach, where you feel, you can see, you can hear the water, the cascading water. Of the wave, which is very soothing, but it's up to you, because you can sit in your home and imagine you are outside in the beach. The mind does not differentiate whether it's true or false. You know what you feed, it will just respond accordingly. So if you are in a home, you just visualize you are somewhere in the garden, you are in a waterfall, you are very peace, and you can slowly relax. Uh, the thing, because the mind is always chattering nonstop, so you need to park the mind somewhere. Now, one area that you need to park the mind is the tip of the nose. So think and focus the thought on the tip of the nose. The other way, of course, it can be your fingers. So you can put the mind at your fingers, hold it there. Or this is one way you can do it. It's another way you just put both thumb. Slightly touching, just below the the is uh, your thumb ten area. So you will focus your mind on the point where your finger touches, or on the tip. Yeah. So if you have a uh, high blood pressure, then you focus down on the thumb ten. So likely, just observe your breath. Just breathe in normally. Close your eyes and just breathe out. Maybe as you breathe out, you just imagine all these tiredness and all the day's worry just vanish. As you breathe in, and then all the while relax and let it go. Let it go. You know, it's easier said than done, but it takes practice, dedicated practice. You will start to do it daily, or you will join us in one of my physical class, and you will have the actual experience. So this will help you to relax your mind, clear your mind, and when I say when the mind is clear, you have that clarity of thought. You have more energy, and in fact, you become more efficient. You know, instead of not enough time, 
you'll be able to manage your time more efficiently. So, see you next time. Well, in my subsequent video, I'll teach you all other points from Qigong that will help you in your healing.